If you're feeling tired, short of breath and generally run down, you might have iron deficiency anemia, meaning you don't have enough iron to make healthy red blood cells, which are the blood cells that carry oxygen around the body. I'm Dr. Donovan and in this video I'll explain what iron deficiency anemia is, what it feels like, why it happens, how it's diagnosed, importantly what treatment involves and finally when to speak to your doctor. As always, this video is for general educational advice, it's not personalised medical advice. If you're worried about your symptoms or treatment, please do speak to your own healthcare provider. So first of all, what is iron deficiency anemia? Well, anemia means that you don't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen around your body, but anemia has got several underlying causes. Now, one of these is a deficiency in iron, where the specific problem is that you don't have enough iron. Now, why does iron matter? Well, iron is essential for making hemoglobin. That's the protein inside the red blood cells that carries oxygen. Now, with low iron, your body simply can't make enough healthy red blood cells, and that's when the symptoms start. So what does it feel like? Well, common symptoms of iron deficiency anemia include tiredness and lack of energy, shortness of breath and headaches. You might experience heart palpitations, which is a feeling of your heart pounding or racing. And depending on your skin tone, anemia might show up differently on the skin. In lighter skin, people may notice paler skin overall. In brown or black skin tones, it can be easier to spot paleness on the inner eyelids, the gums, inside the lips or the nail beds rather than on the outer skin. Now, some people also notice difficulty concentrating, dizziness or even hair thinning, although these are less common. Now, these symptoms can build gradually, so many people actually don't realise how tired they were until they start treatment and then begin to feel better again. So, what causes iron deficiency anemia? Well, there are several common causes. These can typically include blood loss, so for example, heavy periods, bleeding from the stomach or bowels. Sometimes this can be caused by ulcers, inflammation, piles or even bowel cancer and regular use of anti-inflammatory painkillers, things like ibuprofen or aspirin, which can irritate the stomach. It can also be due to an increased need for iron that is not being met. So for example, during pregnancy, it can also be caused by low iron intake from diet, especially if you don't eat much meat or fortified foods, and also digestive conditions that reduce iron absorption, like celiac disease or inflammatory bowel disease, things like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Now, I do want to stress that for many people this is a very treatable condition, but it is also important to find the underlying cause. So, how is iron deficiency anemia diagnosed? Well, your doctor will ask you about your symptoms, your diet and any signs of bleeding. A diagnosis is usually through a blood test called a full or complete blood count. This will look at your red blood cells, iron levels and other nutrients like B12 and folate which can also cause anemia. Now, if it's not clear what is causing your low iron, your doctor might arrange further tests. So, for example, a fit test for traces of blood in your stool or referral to a specialist who might want to do a camera test looking at your stomach and bowels. Now, in terms of how it's treated, there are two key parts to treatment. Firstly, finding and treating the underlying cause. So, for example, treating heavy periods, treating a stomach ulcer, or stopping a medication that's irritating the stomach, for example. Now, your doctor will guide you based on your specific situation. Now, the second part is to replace your iron stores. Most people take iron tablets every day for around six months, and vitamin C, so for example a small glass of orange juice, can also help absorption. Now there are some side effects of iron treatment that it's worth being aware of. Firstly, some people might experience constipation or diarrhea, they might have tummy pain or heartburn, they may also feel sick, and a very common one is to have darker poo, which can look very dark brown or black, which is normal on iron tablets. Now, if tablets upset your stomach, taking them with food may help, but speak to your doctor if this continues. Some people might need a different tablet or, in very rare cases, iron injections. Now, it's important to continue treatment even when you start to feel better. It takes time to rebuild iron stores fully. Now, importantly, what can you do to help yourself? Well, your doctor might recommend increasing iron-rich foods like dark green leafy vegetables, things like spinach, beans, lentils and pulses, fortified cereals and bread, red meat and dried food. And try to avoid drinking tea or coffee with meals as these can actually reduce iron absorption. 
Now, if you struggle with diet changes, you might be referred to a dietitian for support. Finally, when should you seek help? Well, it's important to speak to your own healthcare provider if you've got any symptoms of anemia. So things like ongoing tiredness, shortness of breath, palpitations, which is where you feel the fluttering or racing of the heart, pale skin, or you just don't feel quite right and want to get checked. And if you've been prescribed iron, make sure you see your doctor if your symptoms are not improving despite taking it for several weeks, side effects are making it hard to continue treatment, or you notice bleeding, like in your poo or in vomit. And importantly, you need to seek urgent medical help if you've got black or tar-like stools, vomiting blood, or have severe breathlessness or chest pain. These require urgent assessment. Now, if you've experienced iron deficiency and have got tips that have helped you, please feel free to share them in the comments section. Your experience will really help others. And if you found this video helpful, why not watch this video next?